Hey there, this is Stephen Fox. Welcome back to Smartphone Wars. And today I'll be taking a look at the better Elephone U. And it's not the Pro, it's the Elephone U. Why? Keep watching and as always, you'll find out. I don't know how many times I've heard the phrases I just want a beautiful Super AMOLED device with great battery life that's thin, has great daily performance, decent cameras, but most of all, I want it to be beautiful as hell. Well, today I actually have such a device in hand and I'm already hearing the prejudice people Oh, it's not made by Samsung or Sony, so it must be crap, right? Well, fact is it's not. It's made by Elephone, a company which I myself was not a fan of until last year with Elephone S8 and this year they have also surprised me with the U and the U Pro. These are the two one of the most stunning devices that's ever been built. That's right, the Elephone U and U Pro have the same shield, the same display with slightly different internals. Now we're talking about all curved back and front foam that's just around 8 millimeters thin and also has the screen screen curve AMOLED display 18 by 9 infinity or whatever you want to call it decent cameras USB type C and it's also strikingly beautiful yes the display may not be a Samsung Galaxy S7 or S8 but it's damn damn fine and I think probably the best you can get for around $300 especially if Yo, that's a must-have AMOLED kind of guy and to save space they've even put the dual nano sim tray which is expandable on the top and the phone also comes with a notification LED Android 711 Nougat hoping 6GB of RAM 128GB of on-board storage and it also comes with the January security patch it's a pretty pretty good deal considering most phones don't even run our Android Oreo yet and definitely don't have one of the late security patches and the Elephone, you has a lot of neat tricks which Android 711 will get provides, like press hearts on an app to get a few features uh, straight away. And the phone can also be gesture control, swipe from your left to open the recent apps menu, swipe from the center to go to home and swipe from your right side to go to back. And this means you can use the enormous display, like 85% of display on this phone all the time without having to sacrifice any of the functionality of the on-screen keys. And this is like all possible on a really affordable price we're talking about here. As you're looking at this, the phone is probably part of the Android One program and Elephone have actually promised to deliver Android Oreo update via Otter later on. And this is a multi-language one, so plenty of languages are supported. And you can get that edge screen tab for good functionality like uh, display, brightness calibration, open your flashlight and open your camera. Now when it comes to performance, the Helio P23 says, I know most of you are producers about MTK, the Helio P23 is great, just as good as any Snapdragon 625 or 630, which is what you usually get at this price point. And the Helio P23 doesn't throttle and absolutely delivers when it comes to battery life. This 3600 mAh phone, which is eight millimeters thin and it's really beautiful, can definitely last two days of heavy usage or over 10 hours of screen on time regularly with 4G and GPS turned on. So MediaTek are back and Elephone is back with fast, fast, massive storage. And the sound quality on devices, again, excellent at this price. Okay, fax time. Everybody wants a beautiful phone they can show off to people and be instantly recognizable with. And the Elephone U is that kind of phone with a glass back that absolutely shines and is like a light show every time it turns on. Next to the 18.9, 5.99 inches Full HD Plus AMOLED display, which is gorgeous, has great sunlight visibility, has those deep blacks and everything you want to view media on and on and on and just enjoy everything you play on it like clips from netflix movies and watching uh, youtube or whatever the elephone u and u pro both have the same amoled display and it's absolutely beautiful and i don't think a company besides samsung offers this as type of display on devices in this price range and the phone also has great online visibility great gps as well as 
really really nice one hand usage ability that's right this is a six inch foam but it's curved on both sides which fits straight like a glove in your hand and you can easily multitask with one hand now i don't have the biggest hands uh, in the world definitely not for a man so i reckon this phone will fit you quite quite well now back to the beautiful part i had a lot of, i have a lot of these shots it's just that um, every time light touches the phone you on the back the light show starts and um, you and everybody around you is amazed and you know you have a premium beautiful and well well built phone all that really good but um, i'm a passionate heavy gamer does the elephone you run the latest 3d games with decent frame rates and the answer is yes the hilo p23 and the latest manage 71 graphics have actually no trouble running the latest games on the android play store at medium settings at this huge resolution which is something very 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 nice guys um i do a lot of gaming on my phone so i think most of you already know and i'm not talking like candy crush gaming and stuff like i'm talking really heavy 3d games like the world war heroes you just saw and it's absolutely my favorite game on android now is this shadow fight tree which is an a outstanding fighter game and if you've not tried it i really implore you to do so because this is one of the best games on android or on any platform right now easy to learn hard to master really competitive multiplayer and with uh, rpg elements fighter which i wish the tekken game was on android but it actually isn't and this is one of my other favorite games which is lineage 2 revolution and this is practically the heaviest 3d game on the android play store and on medium settings it runs quite quite well on the elephone you and so you can do so on that gorgeous display and you absolutely love it now on to the cameras the Elephone U Pro currently has some issues with the driver with Android Oreo and the camera is not very usable. However, the Elephone uses two Samsung sensors on the back. That's right, this is a real dual camera, not like fake ones, can be used and it has like a night and stereo mode as well. The stereo is uh, um, basically your portrait mode or like your depth of field with Huawei. But uh, mode aside, ultra fast shutter speed experience, uh, instantaneous HDR shots and really really a lot of details to take in so the auto mode is fantastic uh, the stereo mode the, sh the shots are a bit difficult to get in and take a lot of time to process but most of the times are actually worth it uh, the phone uses the two cameras on its wheel and you will see it taking a longer picture and sometimes it overexposes a bit but in the whole scheme of things the camera experience on this phone is really really good even the full hd video yes it's full hd video on both cameras uh, is really fascinating the audio quality is good the video quality is good and there is also electronic image stabilization which is not as good as the optical one but it's certainly better than a lot of phones in this price range uh, i did get a heck out of it uh, using the video on this phone still a very very good camera and moving on to really low light shots the camera was really okay well you don't get like uh um, me no three level of quality with the low light shots but you get very fast to the speed as well the front camera on this phone was really good, really wide angle, 16 by 9 shots look really good, again instantaneous HDR, low light shots were really good and the full HD view was quite quite good for vlogging as well. If you don't like have your heart set on that Snapdragon 660, faster storage, better cameras, usable cameras. Elephone uh, really had to do a lot of compromises with the U Pro to get that Snapdragon 660 in. So they really didn't do a good job with the cameras, the storage is slow and the battery life is not as good. Or the Hilo P23 in daily life performs just as good as the Snapdragon 660. There is no overheating, no thermal throttling and even better battery life. And the cameras are really, really much better. Uh, the real difference here is actually priced. The Elephone U is around $130, $40 cheaper than the Snapdragon 660 version. And in all fairness, it's not worth it really in my book since this is the same phone and mostly you'll be using the camera's daily performance and the better battery life on the U. So this has been it for my Elephone U review. This is a great phone. I definitely recommend you buying it over the price you want a beautiful AMOLED device with great cameras and good battery life. You can buy the phone from link in the description below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more.